hey you guys welcome to my channel so today we're gonna be dyeing this blonde highlighted wig from sheen that i got i know you guys saw this wig on my channel before so i'm gonna be showing you all the products we're gonna be using to get this you know orangey bronzy kind of look in the summertime so make sure you stay tuned and watch to the end so i ordered these two dyes from amazon in the color sunrise orange number 38 and yeah we're just gonna get into that i'm gonna be showing you the whole process of me dyeing the hair installing it and everything so don't forget to like comment and subscribe So this video is very self-explanatory. I got a bowl with warm water and I put the dye in there until I felt like it was enough. I was basically eyeballing it. I put like a bottle and a half and I was just, I stirred it all in there. Don't ask me how I stirred it. I just stirred it. And I wanted y'all to really get a close up to what I was doing. So I had to, you know, <laughs> zoom everything in. And yeah, you guys, so just continue watching. It's very easy. So what you want to do is dip the ends first. You always want to dip the ends first because that's going to get the most color for a longer period of time, I guess. So you dip the ends first and you continue dipping until the, all the hair is in there. You leave it for like 15 to 20 minutes and then you wash the hair out, you guys.
So I got this brush because I feel like the hair wasn't taken in the beginning and the front where the roots is at. So I was like, uh-uh, we got to brush this in some. So that's exactly what I did to make the color be more stronger in the top because it, it wasn't really taken. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I was combing the hair through. Make sure you comb the hair through, dunk it back in the water, and really get the color processing in the hair before you wash it off.
So after this is how the hair is looking, I'm just pinning it down to part it out to see, you know, what style I'm going to do. I should have crimped the hair, but I didn't know if I was going to crimp it. I didn't know what I was going to do. So we end up doing crimps. I got the crimper from a uh, Timu, you guys. Love, 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 love. And yeah, look at me looking crazy, y'all. My stand is broken, and I just had to, I have to get in the room, but yeah. So I got this wig from Sheen like a couple of months ago and I wore it like three or four times and this hair is really good. I don't know what it is about Sheen and Timu wigs that's giving better than Amazon. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. A lot of people are very skeptical on ordering wigs from Sheen and Timu, but y'all, they're the best because all the wigs come from China anyway. Hello. But yeah, this wig is really good, smooth. It really don't give me no issues. And I love that for me. Mm. So it's now it's time for the install and I'm using those two glues and the cream foundation of course from the beauty supply store and a wig cap yes of course a stick i got this from the hospital when i go to the hospital with my son i begin them sticks for my wig i feel like it's good and yeah so now i'm just gelling my hair back i didn't do any braiding method i just literally pushed my hair back gelled it back got the baby hairs out the way so my you know wig won't stick on my edges and uh yeah i'm just brushing that back and putting it in a ponytail sometimes i braid it sometimes i don't it all depends so right now we're putting it in a ponytail sliding that wig cap on y'all and it's literally that simple My son never bothers me, but when he do, y'all, he always want kisses. He love kisses all the time. I don't know. <laughs> I swear I love that boy. Ooh, that's my baby. <laughs> all right, I don't know why I had to leave that part in because that was so super, 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 super cute. And he always bothers me when I'm doing like something my makeup something if i'm just sitting there he do not bother me he just come give me hugs well i i guess that's what he's doing but yeah y'all let's put on this wig cap i don't know why i got this color it come free and i'm running out of wig cap so i had to use what i had to use you know what i'm saying but don't worry we gonna make that color like our skin complexion So I have two glues. I have one 
from Lola hair, and then I, I hope I'm saying it right. And then another one, the ghost bond is what I actually stick the wig to the um, cap with. So I feel like this glue is more watery, that's why I use it for the um, cap. And the spray don't be holding my caps. I don't know why. You saw how tight that cap was, so it was not holding that. I needed glue, and that's what I put. And it'd be easier for me to do that. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I know I didn't say this. Share my video to your friend, your family member, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, your godmother, your cousin, everybody. Okay, basically everybody share it out because I know somebody is about to go pay a hundred and something dollars to do their hair and that's not right we got bills it's inflation going on so if you could do your hair at home I advise you to So now we're gonna put this cream foundation all over. I mixed the two colors and we're just gonna dot that all over our head to make this our skin complexion because it's not giving right now. I feel like this step is very important to put the uh got uh not the gods to be spray the even spray this is the black one this is the supreme hold and you just put that all over the 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 uh, beginning of the wig because that part right there needs to be sealed down you guys okay very crucial step on installing the wig you're done clean it with alcohol to make sure all of the makeup and the dirt and the access gets off When you're reinstalling a wig, you guys, you got to make sure everything is straight and not crooked. So make sure you put on the wig the right way and where exactly you want the wig to be because there's no access lace to cut off. So you put it on exactly where the glue is or a little bit in the front of the glue.
So I had to add some more ghost bond glue because it dried out you guys sometimes that might happen you have to add more glue and just let it dry clear ish and then stick the lace down Then I put my headband on and like I told y'all before, I crimped this hair with a Timu crimper. I think that was like $15, y'all, or $13. And it came out mad pretty, y'all.